Isa alaihissalam akan menghancurkan semua salib, membunuh semua babi. Enggak ada seekor babi pun hidup di muka bumi pada saat itu semua salib dihancurkan dan yang menjadi <tid> tidak ada agama lain. Semua Nasrani, Yahudi, Hindu, agama apa saja habis semuanya. Semuanya beriman kepada Allah Subhanahu wa taala dan menjadi muslim. Nabi Isa akan datang sekali lagi dan dia akan menghancurkan salib-salib. Berikutnya And then he will come back. Okay, why? If you see the Muslim executors, you will see the most stupid answer ever. As an example, in that video, the guy, he said, Jesus will come back to kill the swine and to break the cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm really old. Sometimes you cannot stop yourself from laughing. This God Allah have no problems in this earth to fight and to solve except killing a swine. I mean, is it this is really a great sign of wisdom? God will send Jesus again to earth to do what? I mean, literally, 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 to do what? Jesus have an assassination mission. He will kill this guy. I mean, obviously, this guy, he deserved to come back to him, and Jesus, he will come back, and he will stand in the front of the swine, and he will say, hey, you, I am here coming to kill you. What say you? The swan, he will say, what's wrong with you, Isa? You're acting like a Muslim today. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you know, when I, when I laugh at Islam, people get upset, especially Muslims. Uh, but this is a stupid religion. I mean, God have a plan, and the plan is Jesus coming back to kill the pig. Why? I mean, what's the problem with this God and Mr. Pig? Anybody can explain to me? What's wrong with you, Muslims? I mean, there is a lot more harmful animals, and they are disgusting, at least. Do you know that every surgery done in this earth is used, they are using the fabric from the skin of, of, of from, from, uh, from the pig? Do you know that the most of people who they are surviving the diabetes, they, they are saved by Mr. Pig? Do you know that every Muslim woman she use makeup, she is putting in her lips a stick, pig? I mean, what's wrong with you? How many surgery a day is done around the world and all of it is using pig to tie up your cut? So when the Muslim speak about Jesus coming back, I have nothing to say except I laugh. If we go in the hadith, And we see the mission which supposedly assigned to Jesus. You cannot hold yourself from laughing. Let me show you. Here we go. And here, by the way, Muhammad, he made a false prophecy in case you do not notice. Muhammad, he was speaking in his time that soon, very soon, Jesus will descend among you. And this is a false prophecy. This is what said 1400 years ago. The soon never come. Huh? And actually in Arabic, it doesn't even say soon. In Arabic, it says you shake. It's almost. It's not soon. It's like here in the corner. Muhammad is swearing, making a false prophecy, saying, by him in whose hand is my life, the son of Mary, may peace, um, this is not in the hadith, will soon, actually not soon again, Yushik, almost, descend among you as a just judge, and he will break the cross and kill the swine, and abolish the jizya, and the wealth will be all over in this earth. Hold on, hold on. Who in the world can believe in such a garbage that God have a plan to send a person, his name is Jesus, 
and this Jesus or Isa is coming back to assassinate Mr. Pig and to break the cross. Why Jesus want to break the cross? What the problem? What cross? And if there's a specific cross, I mean, this is the most stupid statement ever. And by saying that Jesus is going to come as a just judge, you just admitted that Jesus must be God. Because nobody can be a just and judge save God. My friend, nobody is just in this earth. People, the judge, they judge by their knowledge. Therefore, they are far away from justice. If you bring four witnesses now against a Muslim that he committed adultery and they witness that they saw his penis going in and out, they will, be, they, they will kill him even if they are four lying. Where is the just? When you say he will be a just and he will be the judge, the judge for the whole earth, you just announce him to be God. You just announce that Jesus is the judge of the judgment day and he is going to be the absolute judge. If we ask the Muslims, why Allah will send back Jesus, not Muhammad? If Muhammad is a greater than Jesus, what is a greater than this job? For sure, not the job of the silly of killing a, a pig, which is a stupid. The job of being the absolute judge. The job of the one who will complete the plan of God. Who is going to complete the plan of God according to this? It's not Muhammad. It's not Moses. It's not Abraham. It is Jesus the Christ. So how dare you Muslims to follow Muhammad then? And how dare you to say in that video that Jesus is coming back as a follower of Muhammad? Do you Muslims follow Muhammad or follow God? By saying that he is a coming back as a follower of Muhammad, that means your God is Muhammad. You see, me as a Christian, I follow Jesus for he is my God. You Muslims follow Muhammad? But he's a prophet. How you can follow a man? And to make things more stupid, Muhammad, he said he will abolish the jizya. My friend, the jizya is already abolished. You stupid Abdul. No Christian is paying jizya. You're a prophet is a false prophet. So supposedly when Jesus come back, he will abolish the jizya. But already nobody is paying jizya. Can you show me where Christians are paying jizya? Even the Christians in Saudi Arabia, they are not paying jizya. And when Muhammad, he said, almost Jesus is descending, he made the false prophecy. But there is something more. As I said, I cannot stay long today. I did not finish my roof, to be honest with you. <laughs> It's taking me along because I'm working along. If we go in the hadith, we find this. Muhammad, he have a character, his name, al Masihu Dajjal. al Masihu Dajjal. Let me show you this.
Muhammad is making prophecy about a person his name is at Dajjal. But who is a Dajjal? Any Muslim can tell me? A Dajjal is somebody he will play Jesus. Fake Jesus. And this Dajjal is going to rule almost the whole earth. And all you see, all those stories about the Dajjal, Muhammad is scaring the hell of every Muslim from the guy who will claim to be the Messiah, who is supposedly a Dajjal. In this hadith in front of us, there's a very funny story. When you read it, you will notice how Muhammad is far beyond the stupidity. A Dajjal will come in in the morning and he will attack everybody and he will appear while Muhammad look at this is here something other than a Dajjal make worry about you if he appears while I am with you I will defend you against him but if he appears after I die then any one of you is his own defender what what kind of a prophet is saying that? What does that mean? I mean, he's going to appear in your life. Allah did not tell you. Allah is the one who remain after me to guide every Muslim. Allah is the one who will remain after me. Muhammad declaimed that in his time when he is exist, Allah no need for him. He is the one who guide every Muslim. But after him, Allah will take over. The Jal will be a young man with very curly hair, with one eye protruding with which he cannot see. I compare his appearance to uh, to that of Al-Uzza, but Al-Uzza, uh, he's co comparing him to a guy, Ibn Khattan, you know, <laughs> who amongst you survived to see him, should recite over him. Like when you see him, you should recite the chapter of the, uh, of the chair. And this is one of the fictions of Muhammad, supernatural, you know, uh, 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 theories and conspiracy. He will appear in the way between Syria and Iraq and he will spread mischief in the earth and left, right and left, O slave of Allah, remain adhered to the truth. We ask the Messenger of Allah, how long he will stay on earth? He said 40 days. So 40 days, the false Messiah will be in the earth 40 days. One day will be like a year and one, one day like a month and one day like a week. And the rest of the days will be like your days. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> we said, "Oh, Messenger of Allah, will one day, uh, uh, one day salat prayer uh, uh, suffice uh, uh, for salat of that day, which will be equal to one year?" Look at the questions, guys. Look at this. This is a normal, average, silly questions exist in the times of Muhammad. You see, Muslim today they ask questions like, "Can I shave my vagina?" Can I take a, a hair from my eyebrows? This is the same question. Nothing changed. Uh, uh, prophet, uh, so he one day is going to be equal to one year. So how we will pray then? <laughs> Thereupon he said, uh, but you must make the, an, an estimate of time. Like, I mean, look, Muhammad trying to find a solution now. Like they, they took him in surprise. Okay, if one day is equal to one year, now how we can make it? Uh, make it an estimate of time and then offer salat. <laughs> oh, Messenger of Allah, how quickly he will walk in, upon the earth. Thereupon he said, like a cloud driven by the wind, he will come to the people and call them to his obedience and they will affirm their faith in him and respond to him. He then give, in, give the command to the sky and it will send rain upon the earth. Like, hold on, hold on. He is a false man, yet he can command the sky. This guy supposedly is a scam. How he can command the sky to give rain? And the sky will obey. I thought the one in charge of the sky and the earth and the heaven is Allah. Suddenly we find that the one who is in charge is a guy who pre pre pretend to be Jesus. And then he will say, and then he will send his command to the earth. 
and it will grow vegetation man this guy he command the ground and the ground obey and grow vegetation just, just by saying be what do you see what I'm, do you see guys what i'm reading This is madness. How such a person can be a fake messiah then? Is he can control the earth and he can say to the ground, to the desert, say grow vegetation and the vegetation immediately grow. He can command the sky and the sky, he say, hey sky rain and the sky rain immediately. And then in the evening, there's prostrating animals will come to them with their humps very high and there were uh, 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 doors full of, of, of milk and if their flanks stretched etc blah 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 okay then come another people invite them but they will reject him and he will leave them in barn lands without any goods and chattels he would then walk through the west over oh, the west uh, uh, land and say to it bring forth your treasure and the treasure will come out and follow him. Imagine, guys, gold, silver, diamond, they will follow this guy. He say, he just say to the gold, follow me. Gold, come from the ground and follow him. And follow him like swarm of bees. He will then call upon per, uh, uh, a person uh, uh, brimming with youth and strike him with the sword and cut him into two pieces and make these pieces lie at distance. With generally between the uh, the archer and the and his target, and he will then call the young man. He come back forward laughing. This guy he will resurrect people from death. He cut a man pieces and he put him in two places pieces, and then he command the man who is dead and he is already slaughtered by him. And the man he come walking and he is laughing, and then. With his face gleaming out of joy, and it will be at this very time that Allah will send the Isa, Jesus, the son of Mary, who will descend at the white minaret at the eastern side of Damascus. But by the way, this is a stupid. This is cannot be true because this minaret was not built yet. You idiot! What minaret? The minaret of in the east of Damascus is built after the occupation of the Muslims. Christians don't build minaret. They don't. Wherein too, obviously this is hadith written long after Muhammad death. It's a scam, the same as the rest of them, but Muslims, they believe in it, so what we can do? So we have to go with it. And maybe he said some and they added some in between. Wherein two garment. Lightly died and placing his hand on the wings of two angels. Jesus, guys, is going to be flying in the top of two wings of angels. And when he lower his head, there will fall drops of water from his head. And he will rise it up, drops like pearls, which scattered from him. This is Jesus. My friend, this is Jesus. Jesus in Islam is coming and he is going to be flying over the wings of angels angels are serving jesus under his command every disbeliever who will find his isa smell will die and his smell will reach as far as will be able to see <laughs> what 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on muslims do you really believe in this garbage? Do you really believe from this garbage? What is that? Jesus will sweat a drop of a sweat from his head and the smell of this sweat will kill all the disbeliever in the earth. Any comment? I mean, this is the chemical weapon of Jesus. The Muslim Jesus for sure. Do you see how easy he will kill the infidels? 
So why Allah did not give Muhammad the same power? He smell, he sweat, and then he. Sm I mean, how bad the smell is to the point they die. Huh? How bad the smell of the sweat of Isa the Muslim to the point people by millions and trillions will die. From his smell they will die. Why Allah did not make Muhammad fart and all of us we die suddenly? Fart Muhammad fart. Isa he sweat, a little sweat and all the disbelievers in this earth will die. Even before he arrived to the ground. How in the world anyone can believe in such a garbage, stupid religion? And then, Jesus, after he killed all the infidels, he will search for the Dajjal until he will catch him, catch hold of him at the gate of Lud, village near Jerusalem. Look at this, man. Look at this Eden that the Dajjal is hiding there. I mean, don't you know that Isa is coming? Go to Sri Lanka, go to Australia, go far away. You know that Jesus is going to come back to Jerusalem. Why you go there? Are you stupid or what? And then he will kill him. <laughs> but look what Muhammad, he just did, guys. Anyone notice what Muhammad, he just did? Who noticed here a mistake in this stupid story? If any of you notice what is the mistake in this stupid story, tell me please right away. I want to see who is of you is the person really who read fast and he think fast. Anyone notice with me what is the stupid story here? What is the mistake of Muhammad he did in this story from this part to this part? Who want to tell me? Who want to tell me? No, no, my friend, the Edith Muhammad, he just said that when Jesus, he sweat, every disbeliever will die. And that the Dajjal is a disbeliever. So what do you mean he will search for him and kill him? I thought all of them are dead. In the front of you, they are giving you a kind of funny translation. They say, anyone he find his smell will die. What find his smell? All the disbelievers in the earth will die. The hadith in the front of me. In Arabic. فَلَا يَحِلُّ لِكَافِرٍ يَجُدُ نَفْسَهُ إِلَّا مَاتْ Now, what we learn from this, that Jesus is the absolute judge. Jesus will come over the cloud carried by angels. This is Islamic teaching. Jesus is going to be the one who makes judgment with no mistake for his God. And yet Muhammad, he claimed that Jesus is just a prophet. Jesus is going to come and kill the enemy of Allah because no Allah cannot kill him. Muhammad cannot kill him. Only Jesus can accomplish that mission. For all those who they are listening. When you see a person. Let us say we are watching a movie. And everybody in the movie die. As all American movies. And then there's a guy, his name is Jesus. And Jesus, in the middle of the movie, he went up to the sky. And he is watching from above. Muhammad die, I die, you die, your parents die, my parents die, you know, generation after generation, and Jesus is watching. And things getting worse and getting worse and getting worse and getting worse. And getting so ugly to the point that the Dajjal is taking over the earth. And then Jesus came to rescue. That is Jesus in Islam. So the one who will rescue mankind is Jesus. You Muslims, you stupid. 
Muhammad, you just admitted that Jesus is the savior. You reject all of you Muslims that Jesus saved no one. When the fact your story is saying that Jesus is the one who will save mankind. If Jesus is the savior, and this is proven by your stupid story here, who is Muhammad then? And what is the duty of Muhammad? He came to have sex with Aisha. He came to teach us how to shake our penis. What we learn from Muhammad to do jihad and kill people on airplane? To kidnap some women and some children and we ask for ransom? Who need Muhammad? When in Islam, everybody need Jesus. Do you see it, Muslims? <clears throat> anyway, I advise you to read this story here. This hadith is kind of funny and stupid. If you want to laugh at Islam and the stupidity of Islam, I will post the link for you for those who are interested to read it all. My friend, Muhammad even he made one more I'm trying to make it short because I have to go back to work. He made one more mistake. Stupid mistake. Muhammad, he compared between the false messiah and the true messiah. Let me see. Yeah, later I will speak about Jesus being called by Muhammad Ruhullah, the Spirit of Allah. Nobody called such a name. But let me go here. <clears throat> Muhammad, he confirmed, Jesus is God by the following hadith. The Prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist. Hold on. Hold on, Muslims. You believe in Antichrist? Do you Muslims believe in Antichrist? Obviously, they do. Okay. But the Antichrist they have is different from what we have. No problem. But the second you agree that there is an Antichrist, you just admitted that Jesus must be God. Because why the Shaitan is decided to be antichrist not anti muhammad not anti allah not anti anyone why from the billions and the billions and the billions of a human being and the remember in islam there's more than a hundred twenty four twenty five thousand each hadith has a different story prophet sent by allah why from all those names and all the billions and trillions of people who die and they will die? The shaitan choose to be the Antichrist. Because Jesus must be God. You see, Satan, he is against God, not against a person like you and me, I mean, we are nothing for him. Satan, he's a challenging God, not me and you, and we are nothing. Satan, he wanted to be God. This is why Satan is anti-Christ. He is not anti-Allah, is not anti-Muhammad, is not anti-anyone. He is anti-Christ. So how shame on you, Muslims, to believe in the anti-Christ, yet you follow Muhammad. You believe that there is an Antichrist. Did you ask yourself why he is Antichrist? What about anti-Muhammad? If Muhammad is the greatest prophet, if Muhammad is the last prophet, if Islam is a superior religion, and yet the Dajjal is an Antichrist. And do you know what Christ mean? I mean, Islam is so stupid at the point. If copy names, they do not know what they mean. What do you mean by Christ? The second you say Jesus, the second you say Christ, you just admitted that Jesus is God, because this is what his name means. And then Muhammad, he continued exposing himself. He said, read carefully. 
the Prophet SWS, this is a kind of Mercedes Benz made in Mecca. They cannot even say the name of their Prophet without those letters of worship. Said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist. I am afraid that you may not understand. The Antichrist, understand what? He started describing him now. The Antichrist is short, hinted, woolly haired, one eyed, and eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. So if you are confused about him, him who? The Antichrist. Know that your Lord is not one eyed. Muhammad he just admitted that Allah is a man. And this man must be Jesus. Because he's afraid what? Afraid that the people, they will worship the Antichrist. Who is he claiming to be what? Claiming to be Christ. You see, guys, what people don't understand, that the Muslims, when they say at Dajjal, they are speaking about a character, a person. His name is Al-Masihu Dajjal, which means the Messiah, the liar, or the Messiah, the fake one. It's not really Antichrist. This guy, he will claim to be the Messiah. And this is why Muhammad, he said that this person will order the vegetation to grow in the ground and will grow. He will order the sky to rain and they will rain. And he will order the treasure from the ground to come and run after him. The treasure will come and after because this is an act of God. So this guy is a devil who is coming in the shape trying to clothe, to clone Jesus. Which means Muhammad he admit that Jesus can, can order the vegetation to grow in the ground and they will do obey him. Jesus, he can order the rain to, to come down and the rain will come. He, Jesus can order the gold and silver and rubies and all diamonds and all the treasure in the ground to come out of the ground and they will follow him swarm in a swarm. Muhammad, he admitted here more that Allah have the same look of a man and that is he is fearing that the Muslims, they might not understand and they will be confused because Allah and Jesus look the same. What is Muhammad afraid of from? I am afraid. You might not understand. So Muhammad here is trying to explain to avoid what he's afraid of from, that they might under not understand. Understand what? Understand who is the Antichrist and who is the real God. But remember, the Antichrist is the Messiah Dajjal who is claiming to be the false Messiah. So why the Muslim, they will think he is God if they knew already he is the false Messiah? Muhammad here proven to us that he is worried that they might think he is the true Messiah, which means he is the true God. So he tried to explain to them that they look different. Who? Allah? Look what he said here. He did not compare between the look of the Messiah and the look of the false messiah muhammad here he used the word that your lord is not one eye so what is the difference between allah and, uh, and and the false messiah who exactly look like jesus supposedly the eye only so muhammad here he confirmed that allah and jesus is one for sure i don't believe in this garbage allah is the devil it does not exist anyway but the devil is behind this religion and muhammad here trying to build more confusion in the eyes of the Muslims and the mind of Muslims because he is a thief. He is fabricating stories to install fear in your heart, fictions. 99.99999 of Islam is based on fiction. Conspiracy. If shaitan, if you sleep in your stomach, shaitan will play with your anus. If you go in the bathroom, you don't enter with the right foot and you pray to Allah, certain prayer, shaitan will put his screwdriver and he will go inside your anus. If you sneeze, shaitan will laugh at you and he will piss on if you if you yawn. Shaitan, he will piss in your mouth or he will sleep in your mouth. Shaitan, sleep in your nose. Shaitan, piss in your ears. All of Islam is based on fictions and conspiracy to fool the poor, naive Arab who have no education. But a little trip inside the script of Islam, the Quran and the Hadith, you will find that Muhammad is nothing but a scam. With here, I have to stop because I have to go back to work, guys. I really apologize. May the Lord bless you all. Please download the video, share it with your friends. And this is a Christian prince. I miss you all. And I hope soon we will start going to normal again. I am almost finished with my project, which I told you I am working in. 
May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Made by a false man to the stupid man. I am not stupid. Are you? If you are, 